Now, this is the continuation of best network certification videos, but this is another level. This is the mid slash professional, and sometimes they call it specialist level. Again, these certifications are not cybersecurity focused. So under associate level, we already have CCNA, F5CA, Arista Certified Engineer, Level 2, Cloud Associate, and Cisco Certified, DevNet Associate. I would actually put JNCIA Junos on the fifth spot, but certainly no CompTIA Network Plus, because we already know where it belongs. Here or here. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, named Steen Armada, and I am Career and Certification Captain. And on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. First, CCNP or Cisco Certified Network Professional Enterprise. I would add this first because it's the most common network certification under a professional level. And there is a new concentration exam that is relevant to the evolving technologies. The exam is ENCC or Designing and Implementing Cloud Connectivity. It focuses on SD-WAN and cloud computing, such as AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud. Next, CCNP Data Center. I still recommend this cert because it's a network certification that focuses on private cloud, and they talk heavily on servers, storage, virtualization, and SDN solutions. Next, F5 CTS or F5 Certified Technology Specialist. And we have two. The first one is F5 CTS in LTM, and the second one is F5 CTS in DNS. For large-scale data center and private cloud environment, F5CA or F5 Certified Big IP Administrator Knowledge may not be enough, and you would probably need to learn more of the advanced level. As CTS in LTM talks about more on architecting and troubleshooting F5 Big IP LTM, the certification exam is designed for multiple data center with groups of Big IP LTM. It also focuses on optimization and acceleration of your applications, specifically web applications. Now for CTS in DNS, this is the only valuable certification that focuses on designing, implementing, and maintaining global load balancing using DNS technologies. Next, Arisa Cloud Engineer, Level 3 Cloud Journeyman. Here's what I can say about ACE Level 3. It's a must-have certification if you want to learn modern private cloud networking. It focuses heavily on VXLAN, eVPN, and PBGP. It also covers Arista SDN Controller, which is called Cloud Vision, or CVP. CVP stands for Cloud Vision Portal. This course also introduces network automation, but that's not really the focus of the exam. Oh, have I already told you this? This certification is an intense hands-on lab exam. Your skill level will definitely be upgraded when you attain this certification. Last one. And I won't give this to Cisco Certified DevNet Professional. I don't think you will be needing many of those topics and technologies covered in the exam. There are too many APIs introduced, wireless collaboration, UCS, security, etc. And automating these technologies are quite rare, you know? So I will give this spot to Certified AWS Advanced Networking Specialty. It's a good idea to extend your networking knowledge to cloud service provider. And the exam includes topics like interconnectivity options such as IPVPN, multi-protocol label switching or MPLS, virtual private LAN services or VPLS, etc. And it also covers multi-region solutions, 
or hybrid cloud connectivity solutions such as AWS Direct Connect, VPN, and many more. What do you think, guys? You probably realized by now that MPLS, an internet service provider, knowledge and certifications are not the thing anymore. That's why I didn't include them in the list. No CCNP service provider, no JNCIS or any Juniper certifications. I also didn't include wireless certifications. I don't think it's valuable. Like CWNP certifications, even Cisco got rid of their CCNP wireless certs. And let me tell you something. Skills in cloud networking is something that you should start gearing up. How about cybersecurity? Well, I know many network engineers who are not really into security, but they are quite successful professionals. Yeah, so let's extend our networking knowledge to the cloud. I should talk about more AWS advanced networking. Don't you agree?